Welcome to a quick introduction of MCEE 770, Microelectromechanical Systems, MEMS. This course will provide an opportunity for the students to become familiar with the design, fabrication technology, and applications of microelectromechanical systems. MEMS is one of the fastest growing areas in the semiconductor business, with a projected market of $14 billion by the year 2012. Some of the largest semiconductor companies have MEMS in their por product portfolios, including Texas Instruments, HP, Bosch, and ST Microelectronics. MEMS devices can be found in a variety of applications, including smartphones. The more advanced smartphones include MEMS accelerometers, gyroscopes, electronic compasses, and pressure sensors. They also include MEMS micrometers for pico projectors, MEMS microphones, and other MEMS sensors and devices. MEMS play a key role in the screen orientation feature of these devices thanks to the use of MEMS accelerometers. MEMS gyroscopes are also used for navigation, and MEMS microphones are now commonly used. The automobile industry also embraced the use of MEMS sensors. In today's cars, we can find MEMS pressure sensors, MEMS gyroscopes, and MEMS flow sensors. In consumer electronics, we find MEMS in a variety of applications, the most notable ones being inkjet printers and DLP projectors, where MEMS micrometers are used. The main part of the lab for this course will take place in RIT Semiconductor and Microsystems Fabrication Laboratory. This is a 15,000 square feet clean room room facility with state-of-the-art equipment used for the manufacturing of integrated circuits. You will learn the details involved in the fabrication of MEMS device as well as get hands-on experience operating this equipment. As a required project, students will research and select a MEMS device to be fabricated. They will individually simulate and design their device. Their device will then be fabricated as a class project by the students. Previous fabricated devices include cantilever accelerometers, membrane accelerometers, pressure sensors, and thermopiles. Once fabricated, the students will also design packaging and test. These test results show a resonant silicon membrane vibrating at 30,000 Hz. A cantilever beam vibrating at 10,000 Hz can be seen in this picture. A thermally actuated membrane with a total displacement of 40 micrometer can be seen here. Students are also required to prepare a project presentation and a final paper. For more information on this course, please contact Dr. Ivan Puchades or Dr. Lynn Fuller.